Hello everyone. Today we will look at how we can time our code. So you have a piece of code and you want to see how how long it takes for it to run so that you can compare, optimize the code, see which portion of your code takes more time and so on and so forth. So we have written uh, you know, different codes uh, in our discussion. So we wrote a piece of code to generate primes based upon the modulo operator. So let us um, pull that thing. So um, gen this guy. Uh, so uh, this is simply uh, takes a value of n and gives us a list of primes, right? Say gen primes, for example, if I say 10, uh, we get 2, 3, 5, and 7, and it works. And suppose let us also, just for the sake of comparison, uh, it is Tasthenes, uh, the sieve method. So, what it does is uh, suppose you have, um, uh, we suppose we have, like, so we write, say, 1, 2, so let's start from 2. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I want to find the prime. So I say I make this my list of primes, for example. So I put 2 here in 2 and I look out the, uh, look out the, uh, look out the multiples of 2, like in a 2, say, 2 times 2 is 4, I cross out 6, uh, 8 and 10. So now I put my 3 here and I cross out the multiples of uh, 3. In this case there is none. So next number is 5. I cross, there is nothing, so I say 5 and I have nothing to, and next is of course 3, of course we have 9 here. Uh, and for 5, uh, there is nothing, 10 is already gone, and 7, there is nothing. So I get um, I get 2, 3, 5, 7. Basically, uh, you keep on crossing out the power, the, the multiples of that number, and go to the, move to the next number. And um, so now, to let us write a piece of code so that we can compare the timings of the one with the modulo operator and the sieving. Let us call this, um, uh, so how do we do it? So let us do, uh, takes maybe, you know, total number, maybe we can say n number, right? Is something like 10. And up to 10 we want to find. And uh, we need a list to save it, right? So let's say primes, for example, equal to an empty list. And then, um we we need to uh we need to generate the list of say 10 uh numbers the all the numbers two three four five so maybe call it as a number you know list uh from say right num two num plus one which is 10 so two three four and it will include also 10. so now let us write a loop say for say z in range let us keep it up to num 10 times so we will break it out if it, uh, if it gets emptied or something so let us keep up to so up to 10 so it is iterating over 10 times so now we are going to save the first numbers like it's two as a prime okay say my first p or something is will be numbers zero okay i saved p2 and i am going to uh, now what i have to do is i have to append that p in and the primes so primes dot append p so we are just not optimizing or anything we are uh, writing exactly the way we are thinking um, and the idea is not to make it fast we want to just uh, do it, have another algorithm uh, and we'll just compare you know just for the demonstration purpose so now primes.appnp 
So now we are going to find the multiples, right? For say k in uh, range. Uh, so for one word, we will start with one. And suppose if I take two, I have to say I have to go up to five, right? So ten by two, which means maximum number is num. I want to take the uh, the floor division. Basically, reminder. So in this p. So if p is 2 that will be 5 and let's take one uh, one more than that so now k in range 1 to set and so basically what we are going to do is we are going to remove it using the list remove operator from numbers right so it may give an error if it, the number is not there so we'll put the try except statement we already seen that how do we do it we'll we'll say uh, numbers dot remove right the multiple p times k and if there is a error catch it and then if there is an error move to the next multiple suppose we, because we are doing two let's see if two has removed some of the uh, multiple of three then we, it may generate error so we can move to the next multiple and check it unless we don't find it and here we are going to say in case again we saw that when we're crossing out the numbers get exhausted and uh, you know so if the if the numbers got list got uh, empty so we say if length of numbers right equals zero we break out of the outer loop also so now just for sake we can print say primes right so we get uh, two, three, five, seven, which is working. And suppose I make it 30. Let's see. It seems to 7, 11, 13. Yeah, seems to work. So we have now two guys. Uh, two, let us write the second one, maybe as a function, maybe uh, number 30, we'll use it as our argument. So I can call it as maybe def C or something, right? and uh, i don't know what you want to call capital n it's good but i think we use num otherwise i will change everywhere so num and the primes is the list we can return it and this all comes inside yeah and this one is not necessary right we can just say here I believe the alignment is correct so we can check it see maybe 30 which right it's fine it's working fine we can also check our gen primes for 10 it's working so now let us see how we can time it right so very simple so we can use the time module so import say time and there's a time dot time function it gives the time in seconds with respect to a certain time in the uh, past so if i do time dot time after a few seconds uh, suppose for example i have say i say say x equal to uh, time dot time and then i i wait one two three four like that and then I do again so y minus x gives me uh, the time passed between the two so seven seconds whatever uh, so so now uh, we can use these tools right so I can what I can how what can I, I can do something like start is time dot time and then control o then I'm gonna call maybe my gen primes let us do maybe thousand let's do sim uh, 100 first right and then we can increase and see and nd equal to maybe again and uh, and let us also give the time between end minus start right so it gives a very very small time and then let us increase maybe thousand uh, and let us maybe go to ten thousand right so 0.39 so now um, 
Now let us look at our the other uh, guy, which is C, right? So we can let's do maybe thousand first. One zero zero five. Uh, so it, the uh, C soon look uh, much better uh, with that. And uh, if you look at the general primes for thousand is point zero one. Now let's look at the 10,000, okay? So 10,000, it is taking much longer and compared to the gen primes. So basically, if you look at the code, we have uh, the C method, of course, there are two, uh, the gen primes has two, um, if you look at the gen prime, right? Control R. Uh, if you look at gen primes here, uh, we have like um, only one main operation, which is the model operator, and and how many times that is done. You know, we can check how many times it's done. We can get an idea. On the other hand, in the sieve, uh, even it is working better for the law, small case faster. But when you, the size of the list increases, we have lots of pop. We are popping out things, you know, removing things, and how many times that operation is taking place. All those things comes into play. So now uh, we can also look at another way of uh, timing the module. There's something called time it in this particular module for import time it. time it so from time it will import we'll just look at that that particular piece of code time it okay the so time it is, has other functionalities too so we'll just look at time it so now i can just say time it and we we uh, we can't really pass for example gen primes hundred thousand like that so because uh, we have to say have a function without any argument so we can just wrap it inside a lambda right say lambda lambda expression so now uh, i pass a lambda without any uh, without any arguments so gen primes has an argument so now we can also say number so how many times the function needs to be evaluated for that particular value so we can do the 50 and compare you know, and we don't need that at the moment so this is this so let us do for our also for 10,000 and we can also look at um, our C 4,000 and C for 10,000 So, so if you look at, you know, um, if you look at, uh, we get similar ideas, right? Uh, it's at low value, gen primes is uh, the C performs, outperforms. When it's when the number of uh, number of increases, uh, primes, the you know, we have the, the, its performance is getting degraded. And it is not that it's bad or something. So there are better ways to code it and optimize it there are better algorithms we don't have to do all tuck 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 you know popping out and all try and accept and everything uh so there are better ways to code it so but so now you can experiment with your code and you have ideas to how to time your code and thank you very much for watching